Google Chrome is following Firefox steps and rolling back huge breaking changes to the web in light of the current situation that is going on. I think this is a good step, right? And uh, that's just because we need access to this information despite the hosting web servers having legacy code, having legacy code and software that is not entirely secure. Let's discuss. So a few weeks ago, I made a video about how Firefox made a great change uh, to prevent uh, web, uh, connecting to websites that are running TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1. And that's a great change because these uh, security mechanisms are no longer secure because they can be easily broken. And I talked about that in, in other videos, right? And, um, and Firefox rolled that change back uh, i think last week actually and and the reason was very clear because we, you were trying to access uh, very uh, information that is hosted by government website which which most of them let's be honest right most government services and some servers are there still running legacy web servers that are still using these two uh, tls concepts right so firefox immediately they rolled back chain i think this is good because this is not the right time to make any breaking changes. Chrome is following those steps. The same side cookie change was one of those breaking changes, uh, critical breaking changes to the web in order to do something good, guys. It's not, it's not just for the fun of it, right? It's a, it's a breaking change to the web, to the way cookies work. And so if you had a behavior before where you expected to log in to a service, you you're no longer able to because of this change. And I talked about same side cookie uh, attribute. I'm going to reference the video here if you want to learn more how exactly how it works. But yeah, today, Friday, April 3rd, Chrome is rolling back this change because guess what? People are are getting uh, notified and says, hey, I can't, I used to access this website, I updated Chrome, all of a sudden I can't, abs I can't access this website anymore, or I can't log in, or I, or I am, and this has really happened to me in one of the services I'm using, it, it keeps, keeps you in an infinite loop, just <laughs> trying to sign in and sign in all over again, and uh, so Chrome decided, you know what, this is not the right time to make breaking change in the web, people are desperate, and uh, to to get the information correct and there are so much bad and false information out there so we really need to get to the actual sources which happens to be obviously government services that not necessarily uh, uh like uh bleeding edge tech right guys <laughs> so yeah so i just wanted to actually share this news that this is i, I i'm not following the chromium project right uh uh, very closely and Firefox, but I don't recall Chrome and Firefox actually rolling back changes uh, that they committed to the code. They might have been, but this is the first time I actually seen it, right? And they actually talk about it, right? That, yes, I think this is a good idea. I mean, uh, the director of Chrome Engineering, Justin, that's that's a good uh, that's a good step. I mean, despite same side change, is a great, absolutely fantastic change to the web that make that will hopefully end any attempt of cross-site request forgery hopefully between two codes but yeah i think this is a great change uh alas it's not the right time to make any breaking changes in the web any breaking changes uh safari i think it's trying to also i think safari will follow safari is also making a change to block i think access to certificates that are no longer than one year right and that i'm gonna bet that this is gonna follow they're gonna apple's gonna roll back that change that actually blocks you from connecting to a website that has a certificate longer than one year right and that's also forcing to force webmasters to also always upgrade uh, and change the certificate because the encryption of the certificate might be weakened or, or uh, can be compromised, right, guys? 
All right, guys, this is, that was a quick software news talking about what's going on. Uh, guys, again, stay safe in this situation and try, always follow the CDC guidelines and, and, and the websites that are actually government approved. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay safe.